What is up, party people, and welcome back to the WooCommerce series. My name is Daryl Wilson. Today in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to add a cryptocurrency payment gateway onto your WooCommerce website. With this payment gateway, you just can pay you with cryptocurrency. They can pay you with Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency you want to accept on your WordPress websites. Your visitors will be able to pay you with their Coinbase accounts. They'll also be able to pay you with a Coinbase wallet. And lastly, they'll also be able to pay you with any other wallet they might have like MetaMask or a few others. The users can go ahead and make a transfer and once it's confirmed, they'll be redirected back to the websites where they'll be brought to a really nice checkout page confirming their purchase. So in this video, I'll walk you guys through how to accept cryptocurrency onto your websites. Now also we have a demo website in the description that you guys can check out if you guys do want to see it for yourself, but there is one requirement to follow along in this tutorial. You guys must have a Coinbase account. If you guys don't have one, you guys can sign up for free. There is a link in the description. Now your visitors don't need to have a Coinbase account. They can use any wallet that they want. However, you guys need to have a Coinbase account because that's where the cryptocurrency will be sent. And then obviously you guys can send it to any other wallet if you guys don't primarily use Coinbase, right? So let me walk you guys through how to accept crypto onto your WooCommerce websites. Okay, so here is my e-commerce website and your users can actually go to your e-commerce website and then they can go ahead and navigate products, right? So they can go ahead and say, you know what? I wanna buy this PDF download. Here are the address to the carts and then they can view the carts. So next I'll click on proceed to checkout. Next I'll scroll down and you guys are gonna see that right here it says we can purchase this product with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Now you guys can actually select different cryptocurrencies if you guys wanna go that route. So I'll go ahead and click on the cryptocurrency option and then click on proceed to Coinbase. So next it'll take you to the next step where you guys can pay with different methods. So the first option is Coinbase where you guys can pay directly with your Coinbase accounts. You guys can use a Coinbase wallet. You guys can also use MetaMask or you guys can select another wallet. If you guys do select another wallet, they do have a bunch of wallets that you guys can go ahead and choose from, right? Now you guys can use any of your crypto wallets to pay for this, but I'm just going to select the Coinbase option because most of us use Coinbase here. So I'm gonna click on Coinbase. So next it'll prompt you guys to log in. And once you guys log in with your Coinbase account, it'll prompt you to this page right here. So you'll see I can pay this with USDC and I can also pay this with other cryptos as well. So if I click on this right here, you guys are gonna see that I can actually select different cryptocurrencies if I want to use those to uh, pay for this transaction, which is really, really cool and convenient, right? So right here, I'll click on pay now. After we make the payments, it'll confirm the payment and then send us back to the website. And just like that, we have now accepted cryptocurrency on our e-commerce website. How cool is that, right? So here's the payment method. We are accepting Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. We charge $1 and the user has their product details right here. And then also they have their reference number for Coinbase. Now, if you actually go to our Coinbase accounts, you guys are going to see that here under payments, the $1 is pending. It does take like a few hours to actually clear the payment just for security purposes, but all the payments that you guys make on your website will be neatly shown right here in your Coinbase accounts. So let me show you guys how to add crypto on your WordPress website. Now, the very first thing is you guys do need to go to coinbase.com. Now, let's be real. Coinbase.com is probably the number one most secured crypto exchange out there. You guys can actually stake your crypto on the website and they have tons of rewards and you guys can even get learning rewards by simply watching videos and they will give you free money for learning about crypto. It's crazy. So go ahead and go through the sign up process, make an account. And once you guys do make an account, we can go ahead and go back to our WordPress websites. Now, if you guys already have a Coinbase account, good for you, right? So good for you. We're gonna go install a plugin here. So let's go over here to our dashboard and we're gonna scroll down and under plugins, let's click on add new. Search for plugins, and if you guys don't have WooCommerce already installed, you're gonna have to install WooCommerce. It is a free plugin, right? So it is the number one most popular shopping cart for WordPress. This is WooCommerce. Now you guys will need to go ahead and install and activate it, right? Now once you guys do install WooCommerce, we can then integrate the payment gateway. So up here at the top, we'll also install another plugin, and we're gonna type in Coinbase, Coinbase. And here's the plugin. Now, the great part is this is actually made by the real developer. So I would not refer you guys to some random developer who is saying, oh yeah, bro, like uh, I'll take your crypto, <laughs> you know? So this is actually from Coinbase. So this is the plugin that you guys are going to need to install. It is the Coinbase Commerce Payment. I'll just put this on the screen just for, you know, just for install purposes. This is the official one. And you wanna make sure that the author is Coinbase Commerce because there might be copycats out there, guys, and I don't want you guys to get scammed, right? 
it's really easy to get scammed with crypto today. It's crazy. So uh, yeah, after you guys do install this plugin, we're now going to go to the WooCommerce settings and we're gonna activate it. So over here, WooCommerce, and then we'll click on settings. Next, we'll go over here and click on payments. Next, we're gonna scroll down and here you're gonna see the Coinbase option. So right here, we're gonna turn this on. Next, we'll click on finish setup. Okay, now the very first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to make an account with Coinbase Commerce. Now, Coinbase and Coinbase Commerce are technically the same website. It's the same company, but they decided to separate Coinbase Commerce with Coinbase just because they're kind of related to two different things. So you're gonna see this link right here. Go ahead and click on this link. Okay, so now you'll go ahead and log in with your Coinbase account. So right here, you'll just enter in your email that you guys use to create an account with Coinbase, and then you'll click on sign in. It'll then redirect you guys to coinbase.com and then you're gonna enter again your email address and then log in with Coinbase. And then that's it. It'll redirect you guys back to this page right here. So now we're basically logged in with the Commerce Coinbase account. So now that we have logged in right here, we're now going to go back to our websites. Okay, so going back over here to Coinbase. Now the first is the title. This is essentially gonna tell them that they're going to buy it with crypto, right? So uh, pay with crypto. And the description is proceed to Coinbase or, you know, proceed to purchase or proceed to anywhere, right? So that's going to basically let them know where they're going to go, right? Okay, and the next thing we need is the API key. And we also need the webhook shared secret. So I'm going to go back to our uh, commerce Coinbase accounts. And up here, we're going to go to settings. All right, now over here, you're going to see security. I'll click on security and then we're going to make a new API key. So I'll click on new API key. Now, once you click on new API key, if you guys have many, all you'll do is scroll down right here and you're going to see the API. So the one on the bottom is actually the most recent, right? But it doesn't really matter. You guys can use any API you want. So here is the API that it was created. And what I'm going to do is uncheck this and I'm going to copy this. Go back to the website and then I'm going to paste that in here right here. Okay, so we pasted the API key. Now we're gonna need the webhook shared secret. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna copy this link right here. So make sure that you guys do copy this. Go ahead and copy this. And then we'll go back to our Coinbase Commerce accounts. We'll scroll up, then I'll click on notifications. The next option over here, you're gonna see add an endpoint. I'll click on add an endpoint. And then we're gonna paste in that URL right there. Then I'll click on save. Okay, so after you guys enter in that URL, you will then see it right here under your webhook subscriptions. So here is my current website, and we know that we created it because we can see it right here. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is click on Show Shared Secrets. I'm gonna copy this to Clipboard, and then we're gonna go back to our website. All you gotta do is just paste this in, and that's it, we're done. So over here, I'll click on Save Changes. And that's it. So your website is now connected and you guys can start taking payments. Now there's one thing I do wanna mention. So over here on the Coinbase account, if I click on edits, right here, I'll click on edit under the API. Now, if this ever changes in the future, you guys need to make sure that these are all checked. They are all checked by default, but you know, if they ever update their website and then they turn these off, you guys always have to come back and turn these on right here, okay? So now that we've done that, now let's go ahead and take a look at our website over here. So I'll go to visit sites and I'll tell you what, let's run a live transaction. So here's my e-commerce websites and let's go to the shop page and let's, let's buy something here. Let's, let's take a look. We're going to scroll down and we're going to buy the cheapest thing available, right? Cause this is, you know, this is my money. <laughs> so I have to spend my own money for this video, you know, make sure to like this video. Damn it. You know, I got to spend my own money to help you guys for free. You know, like what, is, what is going on today? Right? So, uh, here is the option with pay with crypto. And then remember how we have the uh, title here and the description. So the title is pay with crypto and the description is proceed to Coinbase, right? So I'm gonna click on proceed to Coinbase. Next, I'll pay with my Coinbase accounts. Now it does bring me to this page right here, but for most of you guys who are watching this, you'll have to first log in. And once you guys log in, it'll then bring you back to this page right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pay with USDC. I'll click on pay now. I'll enter in my code. And voila, we have now officially taken cryptocurrency on our WordPress website. You guys are gonna see pay with crypto is the payment method. We were charged a dollar and here is the reference number. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our Coinbase accounts. So here I'll click on our accounts. I'll click on payments. 
And you guys are gonna see, remember that first one that we did? You'll see that one's already completed. So it does take maybe like 10 to 15 minutes to actually you know, get the money and then you'll see it completed right here. And then also you are now seeing that we have now purchased the second one and this is pending. So that's how you guys can take crypto on your websites. One thing I also do wanna mention here, there's this little getting started. And what I do recommend also is for you guys to actually incorporate your logo and your brand right here. So you guys can upload your logo choose a color, and then obviously update all your information right here in these settings. So make sure that you guys do that. It'll make you guys look a lot more professional. So now I'll talk about how to withdraw or how to get the money out of this account. Now, if the user has paid you through their Coinbase account, there is no action needed to be taken because the money will actually go directly onto your Coinbase account. So the USDC I'm receiving is actually going to my Coinbase account and it's located on my Coinbase website. So there's nothing more for me to do here, right? Now, if you guys go over here to balances, and if you guys do wanna withdraw, here you guys can go ahead and withdraw the different currencies, right? So there's Bitcoin, ApeCoin, Bitcoin Cash, and all these different currencies. And once you guys actually get money from those users, you guys can withdraw it to your other wallets. Also, if you guys do wanna learn how to make this same e-commerce website, we have a full-fledged tutorial in the description that will show you guys how to make a super professional e-commerce website step-by-step. -step. My name is Daryl Wilson. See you party people in the next video, guys. Take care. All right, party people, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys do wanna learn how to make that amazing e-commerce website, we have that tutorial in the description below this video if you guys do wanna go ahead and check it out. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.